Hey Charleston, John Crompton, your trusted realtor here. Want to give you guys another outlook on what we saw happen in September compared to last September for our market update. Now, if you've been watching the news, you've been watching anything, you've noticed in the past few years we've had some of the biggest growth in home prices in history. You've also seen the lowest inventory in history. A lot of things were the top and the bottom in history. So anything going from here is either going to continue going up or decrease a little bit. Which way it's gonna go, not sure, have an idea, we'll find out. I'll tell you a little bit more about that at the end. But let's talk about the market numbers right now and get to that in a second. Uh, our average sales price for the month of September was $550,000. Just let that sink in for a little bit. I think the average price in January of 2019 was like 300. So big, big increase in the last few years. So the average price, $550,000, up 18.5% since last September. We're going to see that number start decreasing as we enter into next year, is my opinion. Days on market, 22 days on market to sell your home. Oh my gosh, it's so crazy. It's still amazing, right? To sell your home in 22 days is absolutely amazing. It's up 22.2% from this time last year. Again, it would take you typically four to six months to sell your home in a normal market. So sellers, just understand that. It's going to take you time now. Um, and right now it's still pretty quick. Uh, new month of inventory. So our inventory is going up as well. And that's another thing that you're going to hear the news saying inventory is up, prices are dropping. And I don't know if it's all true because they do clickbait headlines. And yet inventory is at 1.6 months. It's up 33.3% from last year. We were at a low earlier this year of 0.8 months. Again, four to six months is a normal market and we're still well below that. Um, new listings, inventory is up. New listings, 1,733 homes, down 20.6% from last year. Our inventory of listings is down 20.6% of last year. And I'm telling you why. Interest rates are climbing. If you own a home and you refinance, you have a 2 or 3% interest rate, you're less inclined to sell your home and move forward, which in my opinion is going to keep inventory at a very low level over the long term. New contracts, they are down. 1,451 homes gone on the contract. That's down 23.8% from last year. Now, last year we had zero seasonality effect to our market. It was a hot market from January to December on fire. We are now entering a normal seasonal trend market. And I've said that before, you're going to see these numbers kind of decrease a little bit. So it's okay. We are down in our contracts written. We had a high interest rate spike in September of 7.1.25% for a week. It's back down to 6.25 as of today. It's gonna to probably trend around that for, for a few months. Uh, closed homes. We saw 1,309 homes go to closing. That's down 32.4% from last year. These numbers sound so dramatic. It's not even funny. You're probably biting your fingernails. The reality though, in 2019, we had 1,400 homes basically go to closing in September. So we're going back to that normalcy, the normal trend, the normal market, the normal amount of people moving and buying and selling real estate. So it's okay. Where does that all mean and where do we go from here? Well, the, the reality is we're in a land of uncertainty. You're having talking heads say this thing, you have talking heads saying that thing. What are they going to do? No one has the idea. Well, the one thing that we know for sure is the Fed is not playing around with inflation and they're going to do everything they can do in their power to stamp it down, even if that means causing a minor or small recession, which we're in, but they changed the definition. That being said, just be prepared for some higher interest rates. Be prepared for longer days on market. Be prepared for maybe adjusting the pricing of your home from the value you think it is today to something a little bit more realistic. These things are gonna happen. We're gonna see a little bit of a slowdown in our market because of the interest rates. I think they're gonna go higher before they go lower. I hope I'm wrong, I like to prepare for the worst. So if you have questions, if you disagree with me, if you wanna sit and talk about this at a much more lengthy time frame, I can't fit all this in in like three minutes, let me know. I'm happy to sit and talk with you guys. My number is here, my email is here, somewhere in this little video. So reach out to me, but until then, take care and see you soon.